And this is not a conventional sort of planning uh, activity. Um, we, we developed this uh, really trying to reflect a little bit about the dynamics of school change as represented by some of the uh, examples that we've, we've got from you, but also from some of the examples that we've seen from the, the schools that I've just been describing, and particularly the two schools I've been talking about quite a bit today, uh, Greenwood Dale uh, and, um, and, the Robert, and the Robert Clack School. And we found that sort of these sort of six questions seem to be the ones which are helpful in trying to get a sort of a, a sense of the holism of uh, school improvement and uh, school, school transformation. So we're asking questions here about what are the preconditions of improvement in a school? That's the, the question that uh, Vic Zabar asked as well uh, in, about the schools uh, here in Victoria. And um, you know, under, under that are issues to do with vision and impetus and consistency. Um, how does a school sort of organize for improvement? How do you sort of lay the foundations in the school for subsequent sort of uh, alterations in what, the, in what the school does? Um, the third question is, what are the key strategies employed to uh, raise achievement? And how are they sequenced over time? How does um, uh, professional learning take, take place? Again, you know, how, you, how are you finding time for professional learning? How are you transferring knowledge about professional practice? And then, you know, the last question is about sort of the change in, uh, the change in culture, or the, sorry, the penultimate question is about the change in culture. You know, we've already talked this morning about culture being the sort of the glue that enables sustainability. But you can't, it's very, di you can't change culture um, directly. You change culture indirectly through the other things that you're doing. So, for example, creating a narrative is a way of changing culture. Engaging in the sort of the sporting activities that Trish and uh, I were just talking about is a way of changing culture. Uh, creating the triads uh, is a way of, of nurturing a more supportive culture inside, inside the school. So it's, you can't directly shift, shift culture, but there are things that you do which do impact upon culture. So that is about thinking sort of medium term about the sort of the, 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 the impact of your behaviors, the impact of, of, your, of your strategies on the sort of the, the fabric, the cultural artifact, the, the cultural fabric of the school uh, and, and, and the community. And that is really important to think about because you can be doing things which you think are worthwhile which can actually have a negative impact upon the culture. So for example, you know, uh, the, if you are introducing a behavior policy or behavior program, it has to be a positive one. All right? if, if you introduce, if you inter introduce negative sanctions, you know, it may solve the problem in the short term, but you're building up trouble in, into the medium term because you're destroying and eroding the culture inside, inside the, sc the, the school. You know, in my own view, you, know, you may want to be quite top down in terms of get, getting some consistency in teaching practice in the early phases of work. But if you then introduce a very draconian uh, performance management system, that splits the staff rather than building the staff together. You know? So it's having a medium-term view of, you, know, you can do classroom observation in ways which is not so sort of punitive, all right? but you can also do it in ways which are punitive. You know? So it's thinking about the impact of, of the sort of structures you're in introducing. And in a sense, you've got to sort of, um, just because things will work and give you an effect in the very short term, think about the impact you know, in, in the more medium term. And then, uh, I, then the last question is about sort of uh, analyzing uh, the effectiveness in your, of your own school's in, uh, approach to improvement. And again, uh, you know, I find that the, the four questions to do with strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats are quite helpful, quite helpful there. So what we're asking you to do now over the next sort of half hour, 25 minutes, is to, as school groups now, we want you to do this in schools, we want you, want you to actually put your, the name of your school on, on the top of this 
and again to sort of write this in sort of joined up handwriting because we're going to be taking this uh, and making a photocopy of this because this document will become the focus of a discussion with your colleagues, your uh, uh, national, uh, national, uh, what's, well, regional network leaders, sorry, I, I lose all the acronyms, uh, uh, you know, over the next sort of month, over the next month or, t or, t or two. So this is not a sort of a, a, a sort of instrumental planning pro forma, but it's an attempt to try and capture the more dynamic approach to sort of uh, uh, leadership and school transformation we've been trying to talk about this, uh, this morning. So um, uh, we'll get you to do, I want you to do this over the next half hour. We'll then take a, just a couple of minutes for sharing uh, at the end before we break for lunch. Is that, are people happy about that as a task? Yeah? Okay. All right.